So question two on the June 2005 paper. We're given the curve of the following uh, equation and we're asked to find the points on the curve where dy dx equals naught. So we clearly need to differentiate this expression here, but because it's a function of x and y, we're going to have to differentiate implicitly. So if we differentiate term by term, we get the following. 2x plus, differentiating this as a product of 2x and of y. So if we differentiate the 2x, we get 2, and then we keep the y, and then because it's a product, we have to differentiate the y, keep the 2x, y differentiates to 1 offset because we're doing it implicitly with the dy dx. Minus, differentiating this term implicitly gives us 6y, and because it's implicit, offset with the dy dx. 16 differentiates to 0, and on the right hand side, 0 also differentiates to 0. So if we go through and collect all the terms together, if we collect 2x plus 2y on this side, and we move dy dx all onto the other side, and factorise, we get dy dx is plus 6y, because we've changed sides, minus 2x. Now we can get an expression for dy dx, just by dividing by the bracket. So we get 2x plus 2y on top, and we get 6y minus 2x on the bottom, which we can cancel a factor of 2 from all parts, gives us x plus y, all divided by 3y minus x. So this is expression for our gradient. Now, when the gradient of the curve is 0, dy dx is 0, that implies that x plus y over 3y minus x is equal to 0, or the numerator of that x plus y is equal to 0, which means that y must be minus x. So when the gradient is 0, y is equal to minus x. And we can use that to help us find the points on the curve. What we're going to do is we're going to take this expression and we are going to substitute it into the original curve. So if we take the y equals minus x and now all we have to do to find a point on the curve where the gradient is 0, we have to put this expression in. So we're going to go through and substitute for y and y here, and we're going to substitute with y equals minus x. So x squared plus 2x, substitute for y, minus 3 lots of minus x squared plus 16 is equal to 0. Now I'm just going to tidy up. x squared minus 2x squared. Be careful of this, that's going to give us plus x squared, so it's going to be over minus 3x squared plus 16 is equal to 0. That gives us 16 is equal to tidying this up and moving it across gives us 4x squared. So it gives us x is equal to plus or minus 2. We want to find the coordinates of the point, so we need to find out the y coordinate as well, and well, we're going to use this. y is equal to minus x, so that means that y is equal to minus or plus 2. Now it's important you get it that way around, because when x is plus 2, y is minus 2, and when x is minus 2, y is the negative of that, which is plus 2. So therefore the two coordinates are 2 goes with minus 2, and minus 2 for x goes with plus 2 for y. And there we're finished. There are the coordinates on the curve when the gradient is 0.